never had. Hi, today I want to talk about event loop in JavaScript. I actually found a very funny comment on Blind uh, by Google engineer who seemed to be pretty upset about a lot of interviewees not knowing what event loop was. So I decided to talk about it in detail so you can actually understand it and be able to explain it in your future interviews. JavaScript is single-threaded and it means that it can only run one command at a time. So those commands can be actually blocking, hence um, synchronous. So this is where asynchronous JavaScript comes along. Um, with things like closures, uh, callbacks, and async await, you can actually avoid uh, blocking your main thread. Event loop is responsible for checking the call stack in the event queue, also called as callback queue. If all the statements from the call stack have finished execution, Event loop will pop the statement from the event queue and push it to the call stack. I'm going to show you an example with setTimeout callback function. SetTimeout is a web API provided by the browser, and it takes two parameters. First one is a callback function, and the second one is a time in milliseconds. I have three simple console.logs. However, one of them is being passed as a callback function to the set timeout. When I run it, you will see that the second function gets executed in the end. It's because all synchronous statements execute first, and only then the asynchronous ones get executed. So the first console.log enters the call stack and executes. Then the set timeout function enters the call stack. But since it's an asynchronous web API, it gets pushed to the event table. Event table is responsible for moving the asynchronous code to the event queue uh, after a specified time. In the event table, the set timeout waits for one second, and after this time passes, it gets moved to the event queue. In the meantime, the third console.log enters the call stack and executes. The event loop continuously checks the call stack. When the last command finishes execution, it will check if the event queue has any commands left. Since there is a set timeout in there, event loop will pass it to the call stack and run it. If you have any ideas for my future videos, please leave them in the comments because it really helps me and uh, I really appreciate it. By the way, I am in St. Martin uh, in the Caribbean. So it's very hot out here and I just decided to do a video in a different spot so it's not always the same background. Um, I actually want to do a video um, on the beach soon so hopefully you'll like it. Bye!